Good morning, easy day today. We're heading to Petworth Castle and then uh, gonna find a couple of nice pubs and then uh, an early evening because we fly out early tomorrow morning. That's Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's house. Yeah, that's where he wrote a lot of the Holmes books. Yeah, you can right see the there. Top of it. Is, that, is that the one with the chimneys? With the chimneys. Yeah, that goes so this is the back of it. This is the back oh, of it. Oh, yeah. It's partially converted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's been converted into a school. Oh, yeah. That's the cat. Oh, look, they've got a scaffold up. So they've also oh, okay. appointed somebody okay. else to do it. <laughs> Go right on the roundabout. Arrived at Petworth House. It's a huge uh, country manor palace almost. Maybe not a palace, but uh, home of the Percy's. We're going to figure it out. How pretty. So what, what is the, uh, who designed this, Jane? Hey, oh, oh, you've got me on that. Um, Capability Brown. Where did the plants come from, Jane? They came from the Americas, Chris. Well done, <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Woo, long walk up here. <laughs> Making us work for it. Yeah. <laughs> The Petworth House in West Sussex is situated on a massive 700 acres of parkland. Foundations of the chapel and the undercroft date to the 1300s, with major rebuilding in the 16 and 1700s. It's been the home of the Percy family for over 900 years, and by marriage to the Seymours, Wyndhams, and Somersets. The house features landscapes of Capability Brown, intricate carvings by Gerling Gibbons, and a massive art collection featuring the works of Van Dyke. Oh, wow. Yeah, so anyone need to get weighed? This is a weighing chair. No, I'm going to fat coat tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll do it there. I'll do it there. I'm not sure how accurate that might be. This is a painting by Hieronymus Bosch. It's the. Um, wise men's offering to think that Herod is the uh, naked guy hiding in there with uh, his with his spies <laughs> watching the birth it's like paintings of famous paintings <laughs> right, this is a square dining room this is um, all the portraits in this room showcase uh, nine generations of the Percy, Seymour, and Wyndham families. This is the ninth Percy Earl by Van Dyke. He was the alchemist Earl. The little domes. Mm -hmm. The gunpowder drop is the entire run for 16 years. In all that time, his wife only visited him on one occasion. They could not stand one another. As you may know, the Puritans abolished Christmas Day. Here we've got the third hour there, and his wife was the five up there. Wow, look at all the Christmas trees. This used to be the main entrance right here to the house, and there was a big formal circle and uh, drop off here, but Capability Brown changed that in the 1800s, and it's now more of a wilderness. The the wall on the far right there. The little dining room, another Van Dyke in here. I think it's the one, it's Lucy Percy, yeah, right here. This room is full of paintings by Van Dyke. Almost everyone. This is the carving room. It's a bunch of carvings by, um, is it, yeah, by Gibbons, yeah. Yeah, look at all of it up at the, just goes on. It's 
It's a portrait of Henry VIII by uh, Hans Holbein, the Younger's studio, though. It's like there's the grapes and the and the uh, that's like wine and beer, and this is like seafood. Bigger, bigger bundles of grapes. This whole room is full of just hand carved wooden decoration and frames. It is stunning. It's a 2300 year old bust of Aphrodite. There's a groove right on the top that probably held a brass headband and it was originally a full size statue. I think it was um, sculpted by Praxiteles. It was an Athenian sculpture 2300 years ago. Wow. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Tiny Tim. You get to hang it on the tree somewhere. If you can find a spot. This is a chapel that dates back to the 1300s and refurbished in the 1600s. It is, it is kind of a feature of these older manor houses that they have chapels attached to the house so they could do service right in the house. The curtains up here on top of the gallery are carved out of wood. They look amazing. Like La Pieta. The pity, right? The sorrow, the, the money box. There's the external wall from the chapel and showing kind of what's inside here. Rainwater pipe. And then the town water pipe. This has the mid the medieval wall is enclosed now by the by the building. It might even be kind of that thing. Okay, we've got the, um, the house that we toured is right here. The chapel is that. And then the family still lives in that corner section of the building right at the end. And then all the guest rooms are across the top floor, so you can't go in there. They're open one day a week on Tuesday. <laughs> right through the door into the servants' quarters. Oh, oh, wait, I see cafe and shop. That sounds fun. <laughs> What are they? So if, you look in our, if you look in our fire, you'll see behind our fire, there's a bonsai tree. And the idea is once these heat up, it throws the heat forward. Oh, so this is like heaters so down here. The back of the fire. Sorry. Yep, sorry. No worries. Carry on. These are the back of fireplaces then? Or? So you look okay. at our fire later on, you'll see there's a bonsai tree in exactly like that. And the idea is it just throws the heat forward. Oh, that is a kitchen. Yeah, look at that. The 1870s, running water was introduced into the house and the kitchens, and so they introduced steam. But the steam okay. boiler is in the scullery, the other right. side of that fireplace. Yeah. And these are the pipes. You can see when they come down the wall into yeah. the back of those kettles there. Okay. So you, um, you put water in, you run water yeah. into them, yeah. and then you've got steam going yeah. at the back. So and then the pipes go along the back there yeah. into this, which is a, a heating heating cabinet. And then they go under the floor here. This is a boundary. Yes. Again, we've got water, so you can run water into it. Yeah. And then you uh, inject steam into yeah. the skin, and you can keep your custom engraving. Oh, so this is just access to more. And of the this is access to the pipe Yeah. Wow. You mentioned a tunnel, so there's a tunnel, tunnel. somewhere that yes. goes over to the main it house. It goes over the main the house, house. Yeah. there's a ramp at the back, run down into it, it goes under here, yeah. and the ramp is for the donkey, uh, the stable at the back, the donkey, you know, there was no, in 1750, there was no really water, yeah, pump, so yeah. we had to pump the water okay. out okay. Yeah. Wow. from the well. Um, 
canisters packed with ice, and about two o'clock in the afternoon when it was set a little bit, they'd take it out and put it in the moulds to finally set. Okay. Oh, all right, okay, so it's a two-stage process. So these for hanging here and birds and then these racks? Well, no, I think they were smaller, so the lilies, et etc. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the hams used to hang over there. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. It's so it goes full yeah. circle. Yeah. 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 This is the boiler for all the steam. Last year's in 1947. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, like every every different thing you're cooking has its own room. Yeah. The bread oven. The still room. It's the bottling and preserving room. In these kitchens, there's a room for everything. A room to make jams, a room for cooking, a room for preparing meats, a room for doing the jelly molds, the room for baking bread or room for pastries. It's, it's an amazingly huge kitchen. It's the town of Petworth that's uh, right up on the back side of the house. These are the, the walls of the grounds here. Hop right out of the house and you're right in the middle of the city center. Acres. Seven hundred acres, 700 acres yeah. 700. He said seven hundred. Because I was thinking, well that's the <laughs> But even that guide was saying he's only ever been upstairs to see the bedrooms once. Yeah. In all the time. Light hearted uh -huh. thing. And these would very so, so I asked the lady behind the counter and she said that um those horns well, that we thought were that. American uh, were from the family's private collection and they were of an Irish elk. Aha, An mystery Irish solved. Elk. It was huge. It, it, it was good. <laughs> if you want to know what, how Capability Brown does landscaping, this is it. He digs out big lakes, makes hills, makes wilderness. Change all the mailboxes to not say ER anymore? Uh, they will do. There are <laughs> okay. enough. So you can still see the occasional JR still around, but they, really? will, they will change them, yeah. To be CR, as you say. His new uh, crest thing has been designed. Charles it? Rex. All right, we are in Lugershall and at Noah's Ark that is right off the green in town. This is a, a really nice pub. Well, at least some warm bodies. <laughs> no, this is nice. <laughs> Love the open fire. There's a nice, I don't know, this is nice. Yes. Hello. Hi. 
Now we're warm. Oh, we're getting warm <laughs> by the fire. <laughs> Okay, Noah's Ark does a pretty good job. Here's a risotto. And that's the fish and chips. Mm, a lot of these uh, pubs are made with sh old ships timbers, and you can even see kind of the the holes in the beams, even along the side here. Those would be uh, places where they would attach to make the holes of, in the sides of ships. They get recycled or upcycled in the pubs. I think, yeah, did, we did. Do you, do you walk across a little stream to get in? Yeah, I think we did. And they've got the old mill wheel inside. Yes. I just heard jugs of beer everywhere I go. This is the this is the Hogsback Brewery. We're gonna come in and buy a little beer here, but look at all those kegs. We just grab one of those. Let's load it in the back of the car. We might struggle with one of those tonight. Well, that's, yeah, that's true. Tap room open. Let's go tap a kega. That's a fraternity I belong to. I tap a kega. Yes, we need a little bit of everything. Look at all that beer. All right, got a little bit of everything in here at the Hogsback Brewery. Yeah, there's like beer every, this is awesome. I mean, look at the stacks of bottles to go. This is great. They uh, even grow their own hops here right kind of back behind these buildings and then the brewery of course saw it from inside on the top so fun whirlwind tour of the Hogsback Brewery in Surrey and uh, this is one of the really good bitters the Tongham tea that we drank this afternoon is there so this super fun here we go need that we're gonna grab this barrel of Tongham tea right there oh it's empty boo This fire. Oh, nice. Yeah. Does it say don't ride on the tractor? Oh, boo. Hey, Miriam, look what we found. <laughs> well, what do you call it? Classy like box store, good, home goods store? Uh, See, because it's in uh, the UK, so it's different. <laughs> <laughs> 